welcome back to the channel Tarot Yogi. I'm Vineet and today we have November general predictions for the collective and before we get into the reading I quickly want to announce that I will be teaching my tarot course in December so if you are interested in learning tarot from me you can definitely send me an email to get more details and if you are interested in getting a personal reading you can also send me an email or reach out on my Instagram details are given below. Having said all that, let's jump into the reading on how will November be for the Collective. Okay, Collective, so we have Six of Wands, Six of Cups, Five of Pentacles, The Devil, Death, Nine of Cups, The Sun, Five of Cups and Queen of Cups. So we clearly have a lot of cups in this reading. So I do think November is going to be a bit intense emotionally. And it makes sense, right? At least the beginning of November is Scorpio season, right? We are in that deep, deep sort of water with, with Scorpio. And I, I think Five of Pentacles, sorry, Five of Cups is is Sun and Scorpio, right? So that, that Scorpio energy is, is very, very strong over here. So I do think it will be a very emotionally transforming month. And what I'm hearing is you will get what you have been wanting. I do think you'll get what you want, but you might not exactly be happy right away. And I do think in order for you to truly get what you want, maybe there has to be something that you have to give up first. Yeah, I, I do feel that Five of Cups and Queen of Cups. And I, I do think maybe this is around love because we have Six of Wands for the love placement so maybe if you're single you will go around dating or if you like someone i do think you and that person will be able to come together or if you have someone i do think you will be in a good place with your partner right I would say maybe watch your spending in November because work, I see some issues at work over here. Devil and death. So I do think that there might be certain problems at work that you will have no choice but to transform or maybe take a new approach to what you have been maybe used to doing for so long. So that might be a bit bit of a stubborn situation for you but don't keep yourself stuck to to it don't don't keep yourself stuck to it because that's the way you've known for so long right like cut out that attachment I, I i think that's what the death and the devil together that's what it means because again we have nine of cups so again you will get what you want but is it what you truly want is it going to really make you happy? I, I think you will be able to find that out for yourself in November on your own. And this is a collective reading, but I, I do think it applies differently to everyone. So I, I do sense a sense of mystery over here. Right? And even even with the sun card, I, 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 I don't think this, I'm not reading the sun extremely positive over here because I do think you, I, I think what you're going to realize in November is getting what you want doesn't make you happy. I, I think that's what you will realize and that's going to be a little, you know, five of cups kind of situation. But as a result, you will go back to the simplicity. You will go back to why you wanted what you wanted in the first place. So it's, it's going to be a lesson in contentment in a way over here. Take care of your health. Your health can look a little dodgy. We do have five of pentacles. And the way I'm reading this five of pentacles is maybe you haven't been taking care of your body. Maybe you haven't been eating properly, working out, getting enough sleep. Those are just basic essentials, you know, that we as humans, we need. I'll, I'll give you an example. I, I made, I'll give you an example. I, I was trying to sh do some archery without eating anything and I, I could barely shoot and I wasn't even able to be very precise in my practice that day. So I, I didn't realize that, you know, you cannot neglect your body. Like you have to 
you have to feed it and you have to give it enough sleep and you have to work it out and give it some exercise right you have a relationship with your body and maybe a lot of y'all haven't been very kind to your body maybe you have been taking it for granted so i do think it it might catch up to you so i would say this is a warning to definitely fix whatever unhealthy habits you have around food sleep all those things and and definitely do work out whatever you want to do you know you don't have to go to the gym you can do archery for fun right but but give your body that i, I do think that is sort of the important message over here because again you might even realize that you're not able to truly enjoy what you what you have with you because maybe you're feeling sick right so i do feel november is going to be a bit of a lesson but it is going to bring you back to the simplicity it will bring you back to just the love in your heart that i don't think you have been very connected with and i i understand maybe you haven't had a lot of situations where you have been able to or, or even the luxury of it right so november is going to be more contemplative it's going to be more maybe going inwards to really find that answer within and then you will be able to shoot for the stars again yeah we have mars in scorpio and we have sun in scorpio so again we have these fiery planets in 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 the watery sign right and sun usually doesn't do well in any of the water sign the sun usually doesn't do well in any of the water sign houses or zodiac signs so you might feel a sense of frustration around having to temper yourself down about certain things maybe not being able to really speak up or even take certain action right so you're going to you're going to find peace in that inaction and and understanding that you know there's a time and a place for things right you will understand that you know you you cannot expect other people to transform with you just because you're going through these very intense transformations right it's it's definitely you will realize that just because you're going through these very intense transformations doesn't mean the other person or people around you would necessarily want to go through the same transformations right and i i think there will be a deeper acceptance of just people and maybe understanding where they are in in their spiritual journey and it's not where you are and that is okay yeah so november does feel like a bit of a lesson over here but this is a good kind of a lesson i feel and i i do think this is necessary and we don't have the tower card here but in in a way what it's going to feel like to you personally it's going to be a bit of a tower situation right because you did get what you wanted but it's it's not exactly what you wanted right and i i'm i'm thinking about the monkey spawn now so again it's it's that same story of you know understanding the fine print of your manifestations as well and understanding that you know we cannot have you know we we cannot manifest saturn and jupiter to be next to earth right that would be like completely crazy and and in in like a sense of reality it would it would it would change things right so maybe you're understanding that maybe you you know can't have your cake and eat it too and maybe you need to just you know have a skinny slice of a pastry you know you don't need to eat the whole cake right so i i guess what i'm trying to say here is you you truly having that mindfulness of when is it enough you know and and how do we find contentment and happiness in in what we have so i i do feel that is the energy of november and as a result i do think by the end of it we have ace of wands behind the deck so even if it feels a bit like a detour you will again come back on track and you will again like i said shoot for the stars right you will have the energy to again go after whatever you're trying to go after over here we do have queen of cups so i do think you need to really check in with your own feelings 
and and don't let your feelings dictate your actions i think that's a very important message in november in scorpio season yeah i i do i i i can also sense i can almost sense a lot of confrontations maybe with yourself and with other people so you know whatever is coming to light let it come to light right shuffle some more but okay we have the cat which reads independent you are a natural healer your intuition is strong you don't have to go with the crowd life supports you in every way and this just reminds me of those very funny cat videos where the cat is fighting a lion the cat is fighting a crocodile you know like these much greater predators than than the cat itself right but it's the ego of the cat right cats are extremely egoistic and i i, I think that in a good way i'm not saying that in a bad way right the manipura chakra is, is very active right there is there is a sense of ego right with with cats and i i do think that's what you are going to learn how to maintain in november and as a result you're not going to be so afraid of going against the tides or going against people or whatever and it's not like you're even trying to go against them right it's it's more like they are in your way and they're going the opposite way right so <laughs> again it's it's that cat mentality right i i do think you need to connect to cat energy in november i think it will really help you firstly heal because cats are extremely healing the purr is it literally heals you but also you know a cat doesn't care right like no matter how much you feed it if the cat doesn't like you you know your cat is going to run away right so be in your cat like energy connect connect to even like goddesses who are what mounted on on lions or tigers or any of those feline energies i do think that will again help you i do think that will again help you move through this time and in a way it will also keep your emotions in balance right maybe a lot of you already have cats over here so spend more time with your cats right or maybe get a cat now i'm thinking about my owls so since i'm thinking about my owls i i do think there will be i do think you will have this vantage point and you will be able to again maybe zoom out and see exactly where the rat is so you can go and you know <laughs> catch it with your claws right hmm. fearlessness that's what november is going to be a test in for you you're going to have to really you're going to have to really count on your courage but in a good way right because again even if you think about the strength card in the tarot we we have that lion and lions are are related to courage right it's it's about having a lion's heart right it's it's that blinding force of just your the fire of your ego right so understand you are the king of the jungle or the queen of the jungle you know and if if people are not behaving properly you know you you can bring out the claws right So November is definitely going to be very very interesting. You can definitely let me know how it goes. Yeah. Any other messages? Yeah, that's all I have for my collective. Again, it's a general reading, so please take what resonates, leave the rest. And if you like my style of reading, please like this video, share, subscribe, comment. It means a lot. It helps the channel grow. And if you want to reach out for private reading, you can definitely do that. My email ID and my Instagram handle are given in the description box below. So you can definitely reach out for private reading, and I'll see you guys in your next reading.